Hello and welcome everyone. This is Minu at Anglolink. Today's video is about word order. That's the way that native speakers arrange their words in a sentence. By the end of the video, you will have a good understanding of how to sequence your words to construct an English sentence. This will help you in two ways. First of all, it will improve your listening comprehension because you will be able to predict what type of information is likely to be next in a sentence. It will also improve your own fluency because by learning the English word order you will be able to stop thinking in your own language and translating word for word into English. Now I've divided this lesson into two parts. In the first part we're going to look at sentence structure and in the second part we're going to look at the position of adverbs like usually, currently, sometimes, etc. So please remember to subscribe so we can let you know when the second part of the lesson is online. When you're ready, we can begin with the first part of this lesson on word order. Word order, part one. In this part, we're going to focus on sentence structure. The most common order of the different elements of a sentence in English is who, what, where, when, how, and why. Who, what, where, when, how, and why. A sentence usually begins with who, that's a subject, followed by what, a verb. For example, John called, or the bus returned. Notice that the subject can be a person or a thing. Now, some verbs require an object. The object is also part of the what element, so make sure you keep the verb and its object together. Some verbs take a direct object. For example, John ate breakfast. The bus hit the tree. And some verbs take an indirect object. That's an object that comes after a preposition. For example, John spoke to Julie. Or the bus collided with the tree. Now, once you have your basic structure with who and what, you can add the other elements in the following order. Where, when, how, and why. Now, not every sentence will have all these four elements. There will be a selection of them in each sentence. Let's look at some examples. John called. When, earlier, and why, to cancel his appointment. John ate breakfast. Where, on the train. When, this morning, and why, because he was late. The bus returned. Where? To the station. Why? To drop off the passengers. The bus hit the tree. How? With great force. Now, if one of these elements is composed of different parts, we usually go from the smaller unit to the larger one. For example, if there are different elements of when, the conference started at 10 a.m. on Tuesday last week. 
the smaller element of when, time, at 10 a.m., day, on Tuesday, and then week, last week. If you have different elements of where, once again, we go from the smaller one to the larger one. They live in a flat, in a big city, in India. A flat, the city, and then the country. Right, there is a specific case I'd like to mention now. You may occasionally hear a sentence start with an element other than who. This happens when you want to emphasize that element and remember that your voice should emphasize it as well. And in written form, you should separate that element from the sentence with a comma. Just make sure that there is a good reason for emphasizing the element that you're putting at the beginning of the sentence, or you will sound unnatural. Let's look at some examples. Let's start with putting where at the beginning of a sentence. If we look at one of our earlier examples, for example, John ate breakfast on the train this morning, and put the element of where, that is, on the train, at the start of this sentence, you will notice that it doesn't sound very natural. On the train, John ate breakfast this morning, because there is no reason to emphasize this element. It's unnatural. However, if we contrast on the train with another place, for example, at the office, then we have a good reason to put this element at the beginning of the sentence. On the train, John was fine, but at the office, he felt sick. Let's look at an example where we put when at the beginning of the sentence. We had a sentence earlier, John called earlier to cancel his appointment. Let's put the element when, that's earlier, at the start. Earlier, John called to cancel his appointment. Again, as there is no particular reason to stress when, it sounds unnatural. However, if we contrast the two times, for example, earlier with now, then we have a good reason to put the time at the start of our sentence. Earlier, John felt sick, but now he's all right. Let's have a look at putting the element how at the beginning of the sentence. Our original sentence was, the bus hit the tree with great force. Put the how at the beginning, with great force, the bus hit the tree, and it sounds unnatural. But now, let's add another element, make it into a little story, and there will be a reason for putting how at the beginning. For example, the bus swerved and with great force hit the tree. And then one final example, putting why at the beginning of the sentence. We had a sentence, the bus returned to the station to drop off the passengers. Let's move the element Y to the beginning. To drop off the passengers, the bus returned to the station. Once again, it sounds unnatural. But now let's emphasize the reason a bit more. For example, to drop off the passengers safely, the bus returned to the station and it sounds fine. So remember, you can start a sentence with another element than who, what, but you have to have a good reason for it. Right, it's time now to look at some 
common mistakes. The first common mistake is separating the who from the verb or the verb from the object. Let's look at an example. You hear, we two years ago bought this car. Let's color the elements and you notice immediately that the element when is in the wrong place. It has separated the who from the what. You must avoid this. So let's put it in the right place. We bought this car two years ago. Let's look at another example. Sam ate slowly his meal. This time, an element, how, has separated the verb from its object. Look at them in colors. Sam ate slowly his meal. Ate and his meal are both parts of the element what, and they should stay together. So let's move slowly to where it belongs. Sam ate his meal slowly. The second common mistake is mixing the order of where, when, how and why. Let's look at some examples. We drove at the weekend to the seaside. If we bring the colors in, you will see immediately what's gone wrong. The where and the when are in the wrong place. The correct order is we drove to the seaside at the weekend. Let's look at another example. He goes by train to work. Once again, the where and the how have been switched. The correct order is he goes to work by train. Let's look at a third example. They contact everyone because it's easier by phone. If you look at the colors, you notice that the why has come before the how. So let's switch them. They contact everyone by phone because it's easier. And one final example. She went to town to post her letters this morning. What's gone wrong is that the why, once again, has come before the when. Let's put them in the right order. She went to town this morning to post her letters. Well, that's all for part one of our video on word order. I hope you've enjoyed it. As you know, you can now go to our website, anglolink.com, to review this point with further examples and online exercises. And please also remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in part two of our video on word order where we will be looking at position of adverbs. Bye now.